And this is a set collection game where players are going to be trying to collect different treasures and relics in order to score the most victory points. Players are going to be drawing cards from a shared deck every round, drawing things like fossils, relics, and rare insect cards. And these cards are going to grant different point values, special effects, or actions that players can perform on their turn. There's also a special card known as the Dig Kit, and this comes into play when collecting the treasure cards. And there's six treasure cards in a game, and they're placed out separate from the deck, and once all those treasure cards are depleted, that's going to trigger the end of the game. So if you do have a Dig Kit, that does give you a little bit more power, because it's going to allow you to throttle how quickly or how slowly you want the game to come to an end. If you got a bit of catching up to do, you might want to delay that as much as possible, but if you are currently the player that's ahead, that's going to incentivize you to try and grab those treasure cards as quickly as possible. Each player's turn within a round allows that player to play one card from their hand, gaining any points that that card might issue for that round, and also performing any special effects. And the goal of each round is to try and have the most points at the end of the round, because each round also has an active buyer card specific for that round, and whichever player has the highest points is going to be the one to acquire that card. These cards are important because they give you different scoring objectives and opportunities to gain victory points, which is really nice if you want to be the winner at the end of the game. And if this one sounds interesting, to you, you can check out the link to the campaign in the description below where you can click to get notified.